we're going to make a global base map using some NASA visible Earth data. And for this, we will use the Explorer base map. The link for this site is in the description. I'll click the Explorer base map. I need to choose the one that's called GeoTIFF. It's a large file and I'll click on it. And then I want to click download and I'll download this now and then I'll switch to QGIS. You could just drag and drop the file directly into QGIS, but I will add it via the data source manager button and the raster section. I've already browsed to where the file is, so I can click add and then close. Now, when I'm styling these raster layers, I like to use the layer styling panel because that means the map changes more quickly and I can see the results of what I'm doing. So in this one, I'll make sure I'm on the symbology section and I'll just show you one a group of settings that looks quite good. Minus 80 for brightness, 10 for saturation, 30 for contrast, and 0 0.35 for gamma. So we have something that looks a little bit brighter and more interesting. There's lots you can do with this. You can invert colors, you can colorize, you can do all sorts of things. You can change the transparency like this. You could even blend it with other layers if you had other layers in your map. In this case, the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to close the layer styling panel. I'm going to go down to the bottom right to change the coordinate reference system. In the search box in CRS, the filter search box, I'm going to type in Pacific. And what I will do here is I'll choose WGS84 Equal Earth Asia Pacific and I'll click OK and that will change the projection now it may take a moment or two to load when you do this but you should get something that looks like this and if we zoom to layer you can see the result so that's how you get some NASA data into QGIS change the styling and then change the coordinate reference system